Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about my 27 week and 28 week pregnancy updates. Um, I'm 28 weeks and 2 days, I turned 28 weeks on Friday and everything's been going really really smoothly. Um, I have not long left actually, no I haven't got long left, I'm kind of a bit all over the place today. I've just got off the phone to two of my friends and I was on the phone for like two hours straight to both of them. So like I was on the phone to one of them for two hours and then another one for two hours and I'm just all I can, I'm just not with it. We were just talking like babies and the baby shower and stuff like that. So anyway, um, it's getting quite dark so I hope the lighting's okay. I've got Millie behind me asleep. On the rocking chair and Tilly hello okay so I'm 28 weeks and two days pregnant I had my midwife appointment on Friday just gone and I also had my whooping cough vaccination done Um, I got that done by my GP and they advise you to get it when you're 28 weeks pregnant Um, it didn't hurt uh, but it's hurting now, it just feels very bruised. Like, I honestly thought when I woke up, I was like, oh my god, my arm is going to fall off. It felt really, really bruised and a bit painful, but the actual injection was fine. So, yeah, I got that done. And then straight after I saw the midwife, she checked the baby's heartbeat and everything's okay. Um, she still said I'm measuring a week ahead. Um, so I'm technically 29, she's measuring 29 weeks, Ellie. Um, symptoms, <clears throat> what symptoms have I been having? My eyes have been a bit more blurrier, I haven't got the best eyesight, um, like in general, I have to wear glasses and I should actually be wearing them now. I actually lost my glasses. <clears throat> and I found them in my wardrobe so I've been wearing them and they've been making my eyes a bit more stronger but I have noticed that um, my eyesight's got a bit more weaker um, and she did mention this to me she said if you get any kind of headaches and blurred vision then obviously go to the hospital but mine hasn't been nothing like that um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's due to the pregnancy but my eyesight is terrible at the moment um, so I've been wearing my glasses. Apart from that, um, I've had nothing. Like I've had a few cramps, leg cramps still. Um, nothing kind of really bad. Like I'm kind of going through quite a good pregnancy stage at the moment. Like my worst my worst trimester was my of course first trimester but also my second trimester at the start of it was awful for me um, with due to morning sickness and oh it was just dreadful um, I have been feeling very very tired um, I like I like to have a nap every day for at least an hour um, it just makes me feel like I've got a bit more energy but the days where I can't have a nap, I'm just shattered and I'm in bed. Me and Paul went out um, Friday and also yesterday, Saturday. And I just, I wanted to go home and sleep. I was just like, oh, get me to my bed now. But um, apart from that, nothing kind of major. Um, obviously, I, I'm still getting a lot bigger. And I can't... I can't see anything, I can't do my shoes up anymore because my belly is just huge. Um, okay, what else happened at my midwife appointment, Tilly? She's like, get off me. Um, she booked me in for the classes, the, what are they called? The kind of workshops, I think they're called. Um, and we're... There's three we have to attend to, but she said if you can't attend to all three of them, don't worry. It's just very hard because 
with Paul working and stuff. I, I can get the time off, but it's a bit more tricky with Paul. So, um, I think they're in October, at the beginning of October, and they are at 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So, um, there, there are free ones at my hospital. These ones are free as well, but the ones at the hospital that I did previously want to go to um, are like an all-day thing, and... It's just very hard at the moment because I'm at work and Paul's at work. So um, she booked us in for them and she also said that I have to get my final, well I'm hoping it's my final blood test done. Um, so I have to get them done tomorrow at my hospital. Um, she said if they come back okay, obviously like my iron levels come back okay, then that will be it with my blood test. But if um, they've noticed, you know, that I'm low in iron and that, then I'll probably have to have another one. Um, what else? Oh yeah, she also asked me, am I still taking my prenatal vitamins? And from the start, like, as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I was taking the Pregnacare original. Um, until, I'd say I was 15 weeks, I took them. Um, and then... For some reason, when I got to 15 weeks, I think it was because I was so nauseous all the time. I just couldn't take them. They were making me gag and heave, like I've spoke about them. And they were quite, you know, biggish tablets. So, um, she kind of said to me, like, it's still really important to take them. And it is. I've still been taking my oral spray. I can't remember what it's called, but I've mentioned it. Um, she said that it's very important that I still get vitamin D um, in me for the baby because of all the bones and everything. So um, she said you can get 10 milligrams or something like that, a tablets. Um, but I looked everywhere. I went into Boots, my pharmacy and nowhere stocked them. But Boots recommend, recommended this to me and they said it's probably a bit better than the thing I'm taking at the moment. And it's called Mum's D Drops, and it's a liquid. And it what's it got in it? It's just got vitamin D, basically. Um, and you literally need one drop of this a day. Like the container is tiny, the little bottle. It's tiny, but um, it's actually got sixty drops in this little thing. Um, and you can put it in with your food, a drink, or like on a spoon. And it just gives the mother and the baby some vitamin D. So I got that from Boots. I think it was about 10 or 15 pound. But the man at the pharmacy said this is probably like one of the best selling things for if you don't want to take tablets. So I got that. Um, I haven't been buying anything like for myself, like maternity wise or anything. Um, I have started to get a few things from my hospital bag because I do want to kind of get that prepared and ready by 30, 32 weeks just in case she, she does come early or um, you know anything happens. So look out for that video i'm hoping at when i'm week 30 that everything will be ready for that video i've got everything for the baby um it hospital wise but i need to get a few more things for me um so if you have got any suggestions if you've had babies or anything then please let me know what i should get um i'm not breastfeeding a lot of people have asked me are you breastfeeding or bottle feeding i'm bottle feeding um, just because of my own preferences, a lot of people have been asking like why, it's, I know it's one of the best for the babies and um, I know that myself but I, for my own personal reasons, want to bottle feed and uh, Paul wants me to bottle feed as well. So, um, obviously I will still need breast pads and stuff so if you've got any suggestions on what I need for my hospital bag then that will be very very helpful. Um, apart from that, my next midwife appointment is not until, I think it's this for September, it's like the first week in September, um, yeah, I've got, like I said, I've got a blood test tomorrow, so my next 
midwife appointment will probably be the results for that and um, check my blood pressure and stuff like that. Um, I've got my baby shower in two weeks on the 31st, so I'm so excited about that. It's probably all you hear about on my vlogs at the moment, but we're just kind of getting everything prepared for that. And yeah, it's just going to be a quick pregnancy update and I will quickly show you my belly. Okay, so this is my belly at 28 weeks and 2 days pregnant. Um, this is actually like a vest dress but I just rolled it up and I've got some pyjama bottoms on so I can show you my actual bump instead of lifting my dress up. <laughs> but this is what it looks like um, at 28 weeks. Very, very round and big. And then, I've still got no stretch marks. Um, just, you know, one on my boob, but I have none on my stomach. I've got a few veins kind of popping out. But, yeah, that is the baby bump.